masters of the universe are going to be. Do you think this is going to change something in your life? Are you it's a really incremental step. It's not incremental in the sense that it's seven times the energy of current accelerator. So it really is the right energy to probe these questions. It's just that if you get a little bit more energy, you might learn a little more. For example, if you get to even higher energies, you might be able to make higher dimensional black holes if this idea is right. So there are new things that could occur with higher energy. But we expect, we do expect to be able to know the answers to these questions from the Large Hadron Collider. I just want to clarify. Hashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Kakudash. Double honor to our apostles and elders of Great Millstone that rule well. Peace and salutations to the hopeful elect, pushing his true doctrine. We caught the four winds of the earth and all truth and its sincerity. From Lamad Ariyah from the Mississippi camp, Lord willingness to be able to find a lesson. And um, don't have a title for this lesson, but in the beginning of the video, you can see that old show that used to come on, um, Quadum Leap. You know, I don't know if brothers ever used to watch that, but back in the day, you know, as a youngster, you know, that's one of the popular shows that, you know, I used to watch. And um, what he would do was bounce around in time, going back, you know, saying in the past and correcting things that was going wrong, uh, you know, things of that nature, you know. And now you got what's going on with this whole CERN thing. You know, trying to open up portals so they can travel in time. But basically, man, what the devils want to do is go back to the beginning of it all, man. So they can uh, uh, try to reconstruct, you know, the history, man. You know, to try to fix it where they can receive the blessing, man. Try to pretty much cut out Israel, man. So they can have that blessing, Cause, or 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 these devils might be worse than that, man. They might want to go back to when you have a child was a baby, and, and, and uh, uh, try to get rid of him, man. You know, you just don't really know what these devils, man. They they complete uh, uh, their, their whole little scheme of things, but we do know that this devil want their birthright, man. And that goes back to uh, um, Jacob and Esau. Or you can even take it back as far as Cain, man. And that's still a perpetual hatred that, as it's written in the scriptures, man, even to this day. But these devils know their time is coming up, man. They know their time to rule is coming at to an end. So they're, they're hey, they, they scrambling, man. They're doing whatever they can to possibly try to live forever, have a, a everlasting kingdom, you know, to be in power forever. But that's not going to happen, man. You know, the Lord done put them in a trick bag and, and they thinking that they're going to be able to continue on forever, man. And this is like their, their last shot almost with this CERN deal to try to open up a portal, you know, and it, and it could be a portal to bring in some kind of demons or whatever. And I'm pretty sure, and it's still going to be a portal to try to go back in time, man. They trying to get this, what is called dark matter, which is something like a black hole. But they're trying to open up a portal, man. And I'm pretty sure that they want to go back in time and try to change uh, history, man, so they can be in the position of the Israelites, man, because they they see the prophets out there. You know, they these devils, man, these upper elites, they, they know the scriptures. They got the scrolls. They know how things going, man. They see the prophecies coming to pass. They know their spirit is not allowing them to stop doing their left-handed uh, prophecies as well. You know, everything is lining up according to the scriptures. And, and they can't stop it. So all they can do is try to come up with some kind of concept, another alternative to try to stop or alter prophecy, man. And they're looking to go. What, other, what, what better way to offset prophecy? Or, or to completely stop 
uh, the 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 future from happening, other than go back in time to stop it from beginning. You know, this this man is is a, is a wicked individual who has the means to do all kind of wickedness, man. His technology is, hey, the Lord gave this devil the sword and he 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 really ran with it. You know what I mean? But nevertheless, the Lord has set a bound that he cannot pass. You know, there's a ceiling that he can't uh, uh, go through. So whether he like it or not, his rulership is through. It's over. And he's going to hit the nation of Esau, the so-called white man. They're going into slavery, man. Even though they're going to go hide in their little bunkers and everything. Hey, it's going to come to that point. Hey, well, the Jerusalem's going to come down for the, from no chariots, man. And we're going to pull them out of their bunkers. Their, you know what I'm saying? Wherever they hide there in these uh, mountains and whatever. Wherever they at, we coming to get them. And, and they finna go to work. Right along the heathens, man. Okay? But these devils want to alter the past. So they can have an everlasting future, but it's not going to happen. All right, I'm going to go into a couple of scriptures and I'm going to close it out. Um, this is the book of Psalms, chapter 49, verse 11. Their inward thoughts is that their houses shall continue forever. And their dwelling places to all generations, they call their lands after their own names. And see, they think they, they think that their house is going to continue there forever, man. They they name all these particular lands, you know, saying after their own names and everything, because they have stated their claim, you know. Hey, hey, the, the earth was given into the hand of the wicked. So this wicked devil, man, since the Renaissance has comp completely been ruling the earth, man. He's had the whole earth under his rule. So, so he think this is just it. He think this is it, man. This is how it's going to be for all eternity. All he got to do is figure out how to live forever. You know, but but those are his inward thoughts, man. The Lord has got their minds thinking that they can do certain things, man, that they would never be able to accomplish, man. And that's the that's eternal life, man. You know, why would why, why would the Lord, why would you, how about Shemi Abishai, you know, let these devils have eternal life after all the bullshit they done done, and not to mention that it's written in the scriptures, especially when you go to the book of Obadiah, hey, that, that they're going to be brought down, man. They're going to be destroyed. They're going to go into slavery for a thousand years, and they're going to be utterly destroyed, man. It's written. But they want to alter the past. They want to go in the past and, and, and just ramshack it. You, you know, they're going to they gonna go ham if they can go in the past and, and, and alter the future. You know? But, hey, it's not going to happen, man, because the Lord has already written it that this devil's going to go down. His empire or his kingdom is going to be destroyed, and Yahweh is going to return, and he's going to set up a righteous kingdom, man. America's going to be just completely leveled man by those uh uh missiles man so we know that this place is through we know that the lord is going to come back for his elect man and operate us men who doing this work wholeheartedly and truth and sincerity man hey that we're a part of that number man and we're going to be delivered on them chariots and watch the destruction of america man for them chariots okay get those new bodies have we lost that commandments in our inward parts and see, that's what this devil want, man. He want the promise, man, that was given to our forefathers, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, man. He wants that eternal life. He wants immortality. He wants that, that, that everlasting dominion, okay? But, it's, but they, it's already written, man. That promise has already been given. Hey, he got the duel of the earth, but he was blessed with the sword. He, he's enjoying his rulership. He's he, but but just as Esau is, he want to get greedy, man. Man, just enjoy your rulership and, and, and do your thing and, and get ready to just lay down, man. You know, there's a new sheriff coming to town, and I'm talking about Yahweh Shot, all right. And he's bringing all his deputies, man. 
And that's that's the that's the holy host of angels. Hey, and he got all his other uh, uh his other uh deputies that's physically on the earth who's gonna be uh have a standard lift, man. And that's his elect, okay? And eventually we're gonna receive those uh, uh new bodies. Okay, we're gonna be immortal. We're gonna be perfect. So Esau, you 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 in your perfect state now. You know, you done had your run, but it's over. Get another scripture here. This is the book of Daniel, chapter 7. And I'm going to start at verse 25. And he shall speak great words against the Most High. And he's always got, you know, just some straight up, just degrading and 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 sideways thing to say about Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. You know, like they don't exist, that science is the the true God and you know uh, um pretty much put your faith in science, put your faith in this devil. No. We put our faith in Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. The gods of the Bible, okay? The gods of our forefathers, Abraham, Isaac and Jacob, man. The true power. Okay. Back in the scripture. And shall wear out the saints of the most high. And he's continually wearing out the saints of the most high, man. You know, the nation of Israel as a whole and the elect, man. And because even like these um these entertainers and actors, you know, it seemed like they got it good, man. But this devil be cracking the whip on them. They better get out there and play some basketball, some football. They better make some damn movies. You know what I'm saying? They better make some some albums. I don't give a damn. It's garbage, man. They better get on the job. Somebody gonna buy that bullshit. So Esau get these motherfuckers. He have them going on all these tours and shit. Hey, man, shit. He wearing out the Saints, man. All right. Um. And. Think to change times and laws, and they shall give, and they shall be given unto his hands until a time and time and times, and dividing of times. So he he he's had control. He he's he had his time to rule. He he he's done had everybody under his foot, you know. But that shit is coming to an end, man. He, he, he's at his finish line. Verse 26. But the judgment shall sit. The judgment is going to come to pass. Okay. His judgment is, is approaching. He's all, his skirt is already being lifted. He's already being exposed. You know. That's a part of the judgment. And they shall take away his dominion to consume and to destroy it unto the end. So, so his his power, his his whole power structure, you know, this his uh, uh, rule is being stripped, man. He's he's losing grip. The Lord is, is through the, his uh, how about Shimei Al Shai through his elect through the whistleblowers. Esau is being. Slowly broken down. His kingdom is crumbling around him right before his eyes. He's being stripped of power. Okay, he's losing allies. So so his his rule is at an end, man. Verse 27. And the, the kingdom and dominion and the greatness of the kingdom under the whole heaven shall be given to the people of the saints of the most high. The nation of Israel, man, Jerusalem, which is a people before us a place. We're going to be set up in our rightful order, in our rightful state, you know what I'm saying, in our right position as the Lord's chosen people, okay? Now, the Lord's elect is going to be who's going to be, uh, have, the Lord's going to have mercy upon, who's going to be delivered from that destruction, okay? It's going to be being them chairs, we're seeing them new bodies. As well as the uh, uh, one third of men, women, and children who believe in Yahweh Shai, you know, 
walk in righteousness to the best of their ability, right? That the Lord will have mercy upon. But two thirds of our people are going to be cut off and die. But they're going to come back through the loins of the Lord's elect, man, in their right minds with those new bodies. Hey, and they're going to be good, man. The nation of Israel as a whole is going to flourish, man. All right? All right, back in the scriptures. Whose kingdom is everlasting, whose kingdom is an everlasting kingdom, and all dominion shall serve and obey him. And see, and that's what Esau want, man. He want that everlasting kingdom, man. Okay? So where he can be a, the ruler over everybody. But that's his time now. That's what he has now. He has dominion over everybody. This is his, his temporary kingdom that he wants to last forever. That he's been, that's been going on for hey, a long time. He should have just, you know, he, he lived it up. Even though he cheated his nation, you know what I'm saying, his people, he and he fucked over them guys, man. His, Esau, oh, he, oh man, he fucked over his people, you know. But hey, tough titty, man. But see, when when Yahushai come uh, back and set up a righteous kingdom, hey, all of Israel is gonna flourish, man. All of Israel gonna be good, from the least to the greatest. And hey, that's beautiful, man. Call hello, Yahushai, Yahushai. So, you know, they can go and do their little sermon. They can, you know, search and try to get their uh, dark matter. Hey, whatever. At the end of the day, it is written, man. Esau is going to be utterly destroyed. Yahweh Shai is going to return and set up a righteous kingdom, man. America is going to be completely destroyed. All right? The earth is going to be set back in this rightful state. It's, it, the earth is going to flourish, man. Okay? Everybody's going to benefit from the return of Yahweh Shai setting up a righteous kingdom. It's going to be Yahweh Shai, King David, the 12 disciples, and the governing body of the elect, man. Everything is going to be beautiful after that. For all eternity. So... Hey, brothers, keep on pushing, keep on praying, you know, keep on just, hey, holding on, man, keep fighting, because we almost, we, hey, we almost up out of here, man. So, Lord, willingness is edifying lesson. I want to give all honor, praises, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem, Rekakwadash, double honor to our apostles and elders, great millstone that rule well. Peace and salutation to the hopeful elect. Shalom.